At face value, this question looks like one of those nasty 3D shapes questions where you have to look up from the formula book uh, the formulas for the volumes of cones in this case and set things up with a third pi r squared h, etc. and cancel things down. And it, it just isn't that type of question at all. The thing to recognise in the question is that there, the word similar. And that should conjure up this diagram here. Length ratio, area ratio and volume ratio are linked. And to move between them, we can either square or cube or square root or cube root. And that diagram there, you need if, if that's not really fluent and clear in your mind, you need to write it out several times until it is, because that's going to come up in the real exam for definite. Now, in this particular question, we're only interested in volume and height. There it is, height. <clears throat> so uh, let's get rid of the area nonsense uh, from the diagram. And we're actually only going to be moving from volume to length. So from that diagram, we note that we are going to be cube rooting that ratio at some point. But that will be the ratio between the large cones volume and the small cones volume. But look, this information here isn't about the large and the small cone, but the frustums volume and the large cones volume. So how can we change this relationship here to tell us something about relationship between the two cones rather than the frustum and the big cone? Well, the thing to notice is this equation here is actually, if you write it out in words, it's telling us this. <clears throat> the frustum is 98 120 fifths of the volume of the large cone. And therefore the bit that's missing bit that take, would take this 98 up to 125 is 27 125 fifths and that must be the small cones volume compared to the large cone. In other words the small cone is 27 125 fifths of the volume of the large cone. Now we can write that in ratio form which will allow us to use this diagram. So there it is, volume, I've written vol there to remind myself that this is a volume ratio, not some other type of ratio, and 27 to 125. Now, we need to stick a 1 really on one of the sides. We don't have to, but it makes our life easier later if we stick a 1 on one side of that uh, ratio. And the side to stick it on is the side for which you have some extra information. The extra information we have here is <clears throat> that the height of the large cone is h. It says that, yeah, in terms of h. So yeah, this, there it is on the diagram. h is the height of the large cone. So that's the extra information we've been given. So I'm going to put a 1 on that side, and that makes, uh, we, we just divide both sides of the ratio by 1, 2, 5. Now it's time to use this diagram in cube root. So we cube root both sides of that. And isn't it great, a nice affirmation that you're doing this right, that we've got two cubic numbers here. We've got three cubed and five cubed. So when you cube root, you get this lovely number, three fifths or 0 0.6, and that is a height or a length ratio. Now, before we finish, we need to interpret that in a sentence again. In other words, the small cone is three fifths the height of the large cone. Now read the question. It wants the height of the frustum. So if the small cone is three-fifths, so this part that's missing is three-fifths of the whole height, the frustum must be two-fifths. And that gives us our answer of two-fifths h.